Welcome at Asia Auto Ambassador. This is the full electric Kia EV6. I am Bernd and this is German winter weather. Today we will have a look at the Kia EV6. Of course, I assume you have seen a lot of reviews on this exciting car already. And the question we ask ourselves today is, how does the EV6 perform in winter weather in terms of energy consumption and charging power and of course we will have a look at the range of the car. Please join me in this video. The Kia EV6 is available with two different battery capacities, the smaller battery has 58 kilowatt hours of storage capacity and here we've got the larger battery with 77.4 kilowatt hours and then you can choose whether you want to have a rear wheel drive car with a larger battery or all wheel drive the all wheel drive version brings up to 325 horsepower only topped by the upcoming EV6 GT that will come to market by end of 2022 with 585 horsepower. Here we've got, well, the other end of the lineup. That's the rear wheel drive model, large battery. That means one electric motor at the rear axle, bringing up to 168 kilowatts or 229 horsepower. Talking about energy consumption. I drove the car for a couple of days now between uh, days between um, plus 3 and plus 10 degrees Celsius and dry weather. I drove the car in the city and also on the German Autobahn with a maximum speed of 130 kilometers per hour and the fuel consumption was about 19.9 to a bit more than 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. This is more than the WLTP um, uh, energy consumption of 16.6 however it's still efficient I always use the air condition to keep also the, the windows free and uh, I using I'm a big fan of seat heating and steering wheel heating and radio of course or music um, now we've got colder weather and uh, a lot of snow outside zero degrees Celsius at night it was minus five minus six I guess and now the fuel consumption uh, increase oh, sorry the energy consumption increased up to 22.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer and at the moment we've got a battery capacity still a state of charge of 34 um, percent and uh, still 120 one kilometers of range including air condition and the car tells me if I would turn that off I could even not have more range at the moment but sometimes it shows you a higher range and when you turn on the heat pump then you see that the um, range decreases by 10 kilometers so we turn it off again. Have a look at the instruments. I put on the indicator to the right and I see a camera picture of the blind spot of the vehicle. That's part of an optional package but I quite like this assistant system that's available for the majority of Hyundai, Kia and Genesis cars. So we are now driving on the German Autobahn. I want to present um, an assistant system to you, the Highway Driving Assist. I press one button at the steering wheel and then the Highway Driving Assist is active. The traffic sign recognition detects the speed limit and I can then easily adapt it. Now we've got 120 kilometers per hour as the speed limit. The car keeps the distance to the car in front of us keeps the lane as you can see but still of course you have to keep your hands at the steering wheel and it keeps the speed. I want to change lanes now and turn on the indicator. There's a green area showing me that there's no one in the blind spot and I still need to keep my fingers at the steering wheel however I'm not steering. It's the car itself 
changing lanes and I have to turn off the indicator then again myself. That's the yeah, function of the highway driving assist. So lane keeping, keeping off the speed, the distance and the automated or assistant lane change. With a state of charge of 19%, we arrived at the fast charger and now, as a conclusion, we will check the charging power of the EV6. Now we are here for 2 minutes and 11 seconds. You see that the state of charge of the battery has increased to 22% so far. And at the moment the charging power is 69, now 70 kilowatts. 69 again, that's far below the 240 the EV6 can achieve as a maximum. The batteries of the vehicle might be warm. We drove um, yeah, many kilometers now also on the Autobahn, but uh, I don't know how occupied the fast charger was today so far and of course we have not the ideal weather conditions but now we will have a closer look if this still develops or not. In the meantime with 60% state of charge the charging power even increased up to 130 kilowatts and yeah that's quite uncommon isn't it? Normally you see a high charging power that decreases at latest at 50 or 55 percent state of charge and here it still climbs up. We spent some 37 minutes here or 38 minutes at the hypercharger and the state of charge of the battery is now 86 percent and now of course uh, as we achieved 80 percent the charging power decreases via 80 down to 50 something kilowatts now. So what's my conclusion? charging power first. We are way below the 240 kilowatts Kia promises under ideal conditions of course. Our maximum was a bit more than 130 kilowatts. That's okay. However, well we don't know uh, as I mentioned um, uh, how occupied the charger was but yeah I would say like uh, 160, 170 kilowatts should be doable also in cold weather conditions. The car itself is quite efficient also in cold weather 20 to 22 a bit more than 22 kilowatt hours in my daily driving routine is in my opinion quite fair and the large battery of 77.4 kilowatt hours uh, capacity is yeah, big enough for a range that is suitable for a week of commuting to the office for example or your daily driving so my, I, I achieved 340, 350 kilometers without driving too efficient. As said, I still had the air condition on, seat heating, steering wheel heating, and uh, if you are an e-vehicle, EV expert, you can of course increase the range also in winter. And I would also recommend the larger battery pack if you go for a car like the EV6 or Ionic 5, for example. So charging power, okay. Fuel, uh, power, uh, energy efficiency and consumption good also in winter and the overall car is also nice. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon at Asia Auto Ambassador and please also follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, share the video with friends, comment the video, I will reply to your comments. Thanks, bye bye.